Hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2! So we beat the Land of the Dragons last time, we're on the overworld map once again, and it's time for us to head towards the Beauty and the Beast world. And to do that we have to pass through Stardust Sweep, another gummy ship level, let's do that. And again, could use the gummy editor, but I'm gonna just keep on keeping on with these custom made blueprints. So we used to have the High Wind, we still have it, but we unlocked two new blueprints for clearing the last Gummy Ship level. There's High Wind level 1, so it's balanced offensively and defensively, it's like a better version of the High Wind. And then we also have the Falcon, which uh, is designed around the weapon gummy, so it's more powerful and better for taking out other ships, but it has less HP and defense than the other one do. I just like keeping, uh, staying at the High Wind level 1. Let's go. The HP gauge, don't let it run out! Me. And generally speaking, charge shots are just better than the more shots. Was it G? Nice. You can charge up really quickly, it locks onto tons of enemies. Powerful. It's just like better than the normal shots. And again, I definitely agree that the gummy ship levels in Kingdom Hearts 2 are way better than the ones in Kingdom Hearts 1, but I still like the ones in 1 a little more. Maybe I would change my mind if like, I actually did the customization. What I've often found is that the blueprints in this game like break the actual rules for building gummy ships. They really can you can only build a certain amount with the custom editor in the Kingdom Hearts games, but there are blueprints that can exceed the limit that you have given to make a custom ship. So generally speaking, the, the built-in blueprints can be better. Yeah, the gummy ship levels are really, really dangerous. They're not quite like mindless, but you don't you don't have to do a whole lot to do it. Especially if you just do charge shots every now and then. Going some barrel rolls as well, and you're hard to hit. And yeah, it's pretty easy. They look nice, though. And again, you unlock the extra missions after you clear the normal gummy ship levels, like we got missions 1 and 2 after beating the first gummy ship level. We'll get missions 1 and 2 after beating this one, but I literally the only thing you get is more gummy ship parts. And you, there's literally no reason to use the gummy ship after you've cleared all the levels. And there's not that many gummy ship levels. Another. Again, everything you get in the gummy ship is just for the gummy ship. But we open the way. New level? Beast's Castle. Let's land in Beast's Castle. Hey, what is this place? It's huge! And sort of gloomy, don't you think? I wonder who lives here. Hey, does anybody else recognize that? It just sounded like something roaring. Oh, it was Raja from the Aladdin world. Hey, that's the beast. Maybe we should check up on him. Look! Well, 
Welcome to Beast's Castle. I really like this world. It's got gorgeous music, it's fun to explore, and it's a nice challenge. Ooh. Zeros. So as soon as we enter Beast's Castle, we're thrown into a Heartless battle against a huge amount of shadows. So this fight can end either after you take a certain amount of damage, after you deal a certain amount of hits, or after a certain amount of time has passed. With the fire spell, we're probably going to just get the number of hits down. Every time we hit a shadow with any part of this fire, that's coming up to a thing. Already. We can take him. <laughs> Just in time. See you too. I mean, it's no surprise that he swiped away Donald. We know the beast hates birds. But what did Sora do to him? Maybe forgot who we are. No, if this isn't Chain Heartless movies. around. Something must be up. Why do we have to do that? <laughs> Cause the beast hates birds. <laughs> That's why. Anyhow, welcome to Beast's Castle. We got a little shop. All right, two new items. We got the Sardonyx Ring, increases your strength and slightly increases your maximum AP. Yes, I'd like to buy one of those. Silver Ring, increases your magic and slightly increases your maximum AP. I'd like to buy that too, please. All right, and we'll hand over our synthesis materials. Ooh, we can make a drive recovery because we've got enough materials now. Drive recovery restores up to free full drive gauges, usable only from the main menu. How about free development? Uh, I can't make anything. Ah, uh, that's fine. Now that we've made something, though, this shows up in our creations list, so we can make it as many times as we want, provided we have the materials for it. Helpful to know. Anyhow. First off, we have some new abilities. Sora got Aerial Sweep. Unleashes a powerful leaping attack on targets in midair. Yeah, I'd like to equip that. At least for the time being. I think that was it. Goofy got Goofy Turbo. Dashes toward uh, through enemies, bouncing them towards Sora. Sure, you can use that freely. Items. We have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have the metal. Let's equip the Sardonyx Ring, because that will also boost our AP by one. Donald can equip the Silver Ring, because that'll boost his magic. Goofy, you can get uh, the Metal. And sure, Donald, you can have also the Ability Ring. Why, why not at this point? Oh, and the other thing I want to do. Hidden Dragon, yeah, two Strength, two Magic, instead of three Strength, one Magic. Restore the MP relative to the amount of damage taken. So if we take 20 damage, we'll recover 20 MP. But it's pretty bad. It's very weak. But I'm going to switch over to the Star Seeker as my main Keyblade. It looks cooler than the Kingdom Key. It has the same stats. It has slightly longer aerial combos, so I'm down for that. What is it? I just know I saw a lady at the top of those stairs! Well, if the Beast is here in the castle, that lady must have been Belle, right? Yeah, maybe so. Bell might have known what had happened to the beast too. Come on, let's go find her. Oh yup. 
That gorgeous music. Holy cow, I love the music in this world. Entrance Hall for Beast's Castle. These are hook bats. These are an enemy we find in the area. They are very easy to defeat. One thing to keep in mind for the hook bats is that they have a reaction command called Bat Cry, where I think if you hit them once, then they'll do an attack that you can bait out Bat Cry, where you basically grab onto the hook on the bat and spin it around, and you deal a lot of damage to any nearby enemies. That will be important to know for later, because we will be using that later. Four hook bats. Okay, well, the, the, Donald just uh, obliterated them all, so we can't show up that often. Well, don't worry, we'll get the chance to. Courtyard, yeah. in shadows. Yeah. Also, each keyblade makes slightly different sounds. So the Kingdom Key is just a typical, like, Whereas the Star Seeker... Blank, blank, blank. Yeah, so I attacked it once, and then, okay, Donald, he got in the way. There we go. Bat Cry. But Bat Cry doesn't actually damage the bat you use it on. High Potion. Nice. Mithril Shard, like that. I don't think it's going to open. Yeah, the gates to leave are a little locked up right now. I love that finishing plus ability. Yeah, uh, Star Seeker that has, because Star Seeker equipping it gives you the ability air combo plus, which increases the length of your aerial combos by one. And we also have finishing plus, we can just destroy the aerial enemies with this really easily. Anyhow, enough stalling, let's go up towards the belt. Oh, hi! Speaking of wings. And, uh, hook bats apparently drop frost shards. No figure. You're here. I like birds. Donald. <laughs> Sora. Goofy. Hiya. Put me down. Put oh. me down. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, Donald. <laughs> You're not hurt. Oh, great. I have to do Belle's voice. Where's the beast? Oh, he must be in the West Wing. We don't talk like we used to. Did something happen? Yes. Isn't that why you're here? No, we just popped in for a visit! <laughs> Not exactly, but we can still help. Since we're here and all. The beast won't talk to you? He's been acting strange lately. He's insisted on the window being open at all times. Uh, he's eating walnuts all the time really loudly. Uh, he kicked out with all these... Weird books because they plagiarized from him. Not plagiarized, because they made a forgery with his name on it. He hates birds now. Oh yeah, Mrs. Potts has seasonal depression. It's very weird. Oh wait, that never happened. <laughs> that no movie like that exists. The only ones who might know why are locked up in the dungeon. I want to help them, but wait a second. Who locked who up? The beast locked up his servants. But why? That's what I don't know. Hmm. Where's this dungeon? You can get to the Undercroft from the West Hall. The dungeon is down there. West Hall, got it. Be careful. <laughs> Thumbs up. I, I like it, Sora. Ooh, a mega recipe. And a giant chest, which pretty much always means you get a map. Castle map. 
All right, well, whenever you get a recipe, go to the Moogle shop and you might be able to make something new in the shop. Oh, yes, large bodies are back. So large bodies, nice thing is, uh, so they have a new move. They can slide around on their stomach. You also have some reaction commands like full swing. They're powerful, you can only hit them in the back. They have a lot of HP. And one of their new moves, they might only be able to do this if they're on HP, they start sliding around on their belly. They can do a lot of damage and knock you back and hit you multiple times with that, but they, you can also use a reaction command on their head at that point where you knock them back up. And again, doing a lot of damage. So just use your reaction commands against the uh, large bodies and they're not too bad. What is in here? It's the ballroom! You know, that iconic, that iconic scene from Beauty and the Beast. Yeehaw. Yeah, when he starts glowing like this, he's gonna slide around on his stomach. Uh oh. Hi. Don't worry, guys. I got Blizzard. I was definitely guarding. Don't know why that happened. Welcome to critical mode. I also thought there were chests in here. Maybe I'm thinking the DS game. But I keep forgetting I don't have any sort of dodge roll. Also, the, the reaction command from one can hit multiple other large bodies as well. Okay. So going to back and Just be cautious with them, and they're not too bad. I say after I die to them. Alright, let's go to the West Hall. It is forbidden! Looks nice. This castle is very pretty. We should be way into the undercroft around here. The first off, sorry, you walk the cutscene made us walk past all these treasure chests. They're full shard, get used to seeing those. <laughs> Hi, boy! Since I'm already, you can destroy him with a finishing hit of a combo. How lucky for us. Tons of treasure chests in this room. A power shard? That looks exactly like a mythical shard. Bright stone? <laughs> we got the mythical shard from that chest before we finished opening the chest. These two suits of armors are blocking our way. These suits of armors disappear impassable. Well, bother. The beast is like, I have my rose. Better move these suits of armor in the way so no one can fall. Oof. Move. This is the best mini game in the game, right here. That's sarcasm, in case you didn't know. Here it is. Do you mind? Excuse me. Why are you standing right in front of the door? That is the worst place to be in. 
Try moving the wardrobe. Yeah, this is a game I like to call tap triangle to move her, but stop when she wakes up. Wait for the waken reaction command to disappear because you don't want to push that. They really went all out for this game. Bada bing, bada boom. She is moving. But she woke up anyways, and I was just starting to get comfortable. May I help you? Huh? What? Oh right, Belle needs us to go to the dungeon. Goodness! You're out here to help my friends? Well, why didn't you say so? Uh... I'm sorry I startled you. Oh, I used to be human, you know. Until the Enchantress cast her spell. Yeah, she was in that. I was turned into a wardrobe when the prince was turned into a beast. The prince is the beast? The beast is a prince. That's right. Although his behavior was far from princely at the time. He was like 10 years old. Ser seriously, if you do the math from Beauty and the Beast, because it's like on the, his 21st birthday, the last petal will fall and he'll be a beast forever. And then the Soul Beer, I guess they mentioned like, that they've been rusting for 10 years. The, the prince was a 10 year old boy when he got turned into a beast. Yeah, of course he was bratty. Like. Who wasn't kind of a brat or a stinker at 10 years old? What's this about a spell? Well, it was a cold winter's night. Actually, you know what? I have Beauty and the Beast on Blu-ray, the Diamond Edition. We can watch that. And that's enough for now. You can hear the rest when you've rescued the others. It'll give you something to look forward to. <laughs> Hurry now, the dungeon is damp and chilly. Certainly no place for a clock. A clock? You'll find out soon enough. Alright, let's get going. And we are about to encounter the first boss that gave me a ton of trouble on critical mode. However, now that I know the secret to him, he is actually pretty easy. Also, full disclosure, I went to Beast's Castle first on my first time in doing critical mode because I really wanted to get the cure spell. This must be it. Dungeon door comes to life. This is the Fresh Holder, and he can kick your butt if you are not prepared for him. He's incredibly powerful, and it can it might be able to kill you in one shot, maybe two. Okay, not quite one shot. So we're gonna enter Valor form. Beat up the door. Be down low. Oh yeah, we got level up Valor form again. So we got high jump level one for non-Valor form, and then high jump level two for Valor form. So we can jump higher in Valor form, and once we equip the ability, you know what? I'll go more into that in the later. Anyhow, we got his HP to zero, and then we used the reaction command on him, and this lets out the true bot form of the boss, which is the possessor, which is this little uh, orb that's flying around. So we need to attack him. Before he, we can get all his HP down, he's going to attack the fresh Okay, yeah. I couldn't get a potion out fast enough. Oh! And here's something that can happen. Uh, occasionally when you lose a fight, depending on the fight, not all fights this works for, uh, occasionally if you die when you fight, Mickey Mouse can appear, and you can play as him. Uh, I actually kind of didn't want to do that for this fight, to be perfectly honest. Because how it works is that if you die during a fight, Mickey can appear during... If it's the first time you've used Mickey, he's guaranteed to appear, otherwise it's random. And Mickey can basically help you get back in the fight. He can fight for you, he's not that great, but he can. He has a lot of HP, and he has homing pearls, which you can use. So here. Jump around, he's very floaty. Let's take up my bark oil up for the warriors. Hope that's up here. Yeah, what you want to do for this fight is get the hook bat through here and then bait out a hook bat fry by hitting them once and use that on the threshold because you're invincible during that. Anyhow, we can use square to use these magic pearls which are very powerful. I want to use them on the threshold though. You can see it's just eating away at his HP. 
team. Unfortunately, Mickey Mouse cannot use reaction commands, and we're out of MP. So at this point, we're going to use the reaction command for Mickey, which is we rapidly tap the... We rapidly tra tap the triangle button, and we'll get Sora back into it. There we go. Healing Light, Sora's back in the game at full HP, and now we can take up the first floor. Did not want to have to use Mickey Mouse in this fight. I actually forgot that this was the fight Mickey Mouse could be even used on. I kind of wanted to save him for a future fight, but maybe he'll still show up. Anyway. Hey, Possessor. Take this. Goodbye. Alright. Well, shoot, if I knew, I was just mashing the X button to try the fight again. I didn't expect Mickey Mouse to be there. Dog on it. Yeah, as you can see, I died to the Thresholder. He's a tough fight. Very powerful. Yeah, again, once you know you can bait out Bat Cry, once you kill the Gargoyle Warriors, who are two new enemies we face, you spawn the Hook Bats, bait out Bat Cry by hitting them once, then you're invincible while you're doing the Bat Cry reaction command, and you'll just wail away on the Thresholder and all the other Hook Bats. It's really... Makes it a lot easier. You think the dungeon's past his jar? That was the worst Donald voice ever. <laughs> Come on, we gotta set these servants free. He's right, let's go. Anyhow, so a lot happened during that fight. Uh, we got introduced to a new... Okay, so we upper slash. Knocks the target into the air during a combo with square. So this basically can allow you to turn a ground combo into an aerial combo. It's alright. I mean, we'll quote it for now, but it's not amazing. This is a growth ability. So these growth abilities are abilities you unlock by leveling up your drive form. So right now we only have Valor form, and the growth form type to Valor form is high jump. So we got it to level 2, so what happens is right from the get-go, when you enter Valor form, you have high jump level 1 in Valor form, so you jump slightly higher. Once, now that we've leveled it up twice, we get high jump level 1 available for regular Sora. Costs 2 AP to equip, and you jump a little higher. And now, also in Valor form, when we enter it, we have high jump level 2, so we'll jump even higher than we did with high jump level 1. If we keep leveling up Valor form, we'll eventually get high jumps level 2 and 3, eventually, for normal Sora, which is great. It'll help us reach some of those pesky stickers that are out of our reach. Very important to level up your drive forms to get these growth abilities, because they are very, very good. Yeah, and now we have high jump level 2. And high jump level 2 doesn't take any more AP to equip than high jump level 1, and it's permanently equipped for Valor form. You can't really do anything about it. Donald now has Donald Fire. Unleashes a firestorm that attacks nearby enemies. Sure, Donald, you can use that. Anyhow. There's nobody here. Hmm? You mean there's mm. nobody to rescue? <sighs> Did someone say rescue? Oh. Shh. Keep quiet. It might be what? them. Huh? Oh, they look like nice boys to me. We are nice. We're your friends. Yeah. Bell sent us to find you. Wow. At least has fewer servants in this than he did in the movie. I'm Sora. Donald. Wow. Goofy. That is. Don't, 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 I am self-winding, sir. I am not goofy. Donald, what the heck? You're okay. <laughs> it is we who are overjoyed to see you. Did somebody put a spell on you guys, too? Yes, that's right. You've heard. It was the Enchantress. It seems so long ago. It was a cold winter's night. An old beggar woman came to the castle and asked for shelter. But the master of this castle, that is, of course, the prince. Stop that! Put me down this instant! Yeah, Donald, you're being extremely rude. <clears throat> the master turned her away. All, all because of her <clears throat> meager appearance. And also, he was a ten-year-old boy, answering the door to a stranger. That's awful! We, oui, he was a spoiled prince, so selfish and, how shall I say, cruel. Lumiere, 
The old woman warned our master not to be deceived by appearances. Still, he would not take her in. Then the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. She turned the prince into a beast, a shape she thought fitting for his cold heart. And to further punish him, everyone in the castle was enchanted too. That's going way too far. I mean, enchantress went way too far in every single regard. Wow, that's quite a story. Watch it on Blu-ray this summer! <laughs> Is there anything we can do to help? Let's get the Enchantress! Bonus boss, the Enchantress. Oh no, dear. We already know what needs to be done, but with the Master out of sorts. He sure is acting weird. It's almost as if he's forgotten how to trust others. You don't suppose he's been turned into a heartless, do you? Heartless! If they're a part of this, then it's a good thing we're here. Let's go find the beast! Splendid! I can't do a Cogsworth voice. Follow me, Mosuls! I know a shortcut. I, that's the Mr. Salt voice from Blue's Clues. <laughs> Anyhow, we get another map in this chest. Surprise! And we get another AP boost. And that's where we're going to leave it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts 2. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Next time, we'll be able to finish up Beast's Castle. Most of these worlds will only take two episodes apiece to solve. Thanks for that, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.